Okay, so I'm all about the terminology that's used. So what I want to do is take a look and see how this last police release of information from Lombardo plays out specifically to the terminology. Now, I just want to preface it and say I think he's a good guy. I do. I think he's a good guy. I also think that he's come across some information that's clearly made him nervous and that he's got to have to backpedal and clear up because uh, he was told to. So let's start this. And this is on the 13th. And he comes right out of the gate talking about how it's going to be different. Don't ask questions. I'm just going to be telling you what it is you need to know. This is much different than earlier on. Of course, a lot has transpired. Uh, so my tip today is to provide some clarification on some outstanding issues out there in the public forum. I got this on a few attendants, a couple of other audio items. And then uh, I'll provide the opportunity for the SAC Rouse from the FBI uh, to address the audience. And then uh, we'll have a closing order. So he's presenting information and then he's handing it over to the FBI is what he's doing. I mean, perhaps I should do a breakdown of his earlier um, speaking to the uh, public, but... He does seem a lot nervous, a lot more nervous now than he did before, and generally, after you've been doing this for a while, you get less nervous, not more nervous. So as of eight o'clock this morning, I was updated with this current number. And you can look back up this morning. Um, I wonder if he includes Kimberly. Very important. There you go. My intent was to provide that calmness in the community. And it was just to make sure that he was the only one. See the emphasis on that? It's what you, uh, it's what's between the lines. I'm sure that this sheriff has lived a pretty normal life up until now. It's going to be hard to be thrown into this, I'm guessing. So, there was no integrity so there was no problem. There was nothing with intent. There was no problem with that. I mean, these people, are, I mean, and he's working on pure emotion. Anybody would, if you're like at the center of 
well, not what is now the center of attention because, of course, we've shifted all that to Weinstein now. Everything's been about Weinstein. Have you noticed in the past, I don't know, even four or five days, there really hasn't been much about this. You have a pedophile, rapist, whatever, alleged, who's been doing this for decades, and now is a good time to just bring that up and pummel the public with it while we have this assault on Americans basically be just left to uh, wither away. All the information, nothing else to see here. It's all done. This is how I feel like they're handling this. Dr. I feel like he's having I feel like he's having a conversation for like three different people. I feel like he's having a conversation for people that he knows knows what's going on, which are like the, the feds surrounding him. I feel like he's having a conversation to people that he knows knows him who probably suspects what he's saying. You don't really have to know him, but just pay attention. And then I feel like he's just having a conversation with the general public. So he has like a triple entendre going on right now when he's talking. I mean, spreading it around. So, 17 separate medical facilities. Today's number 536 reported injuries. 501 of those have been discharged. In other words, they responded to a medical facility, uh, they treated for their injuries, and then subsequently left um, to seek a healing process uh, wherever they chose to do so. 58. Is still the number of individuals that have died. Now, this is an important piece. 45 individuals are still hospitalized. Some of those are in critical condition. The 58 may raise all the grace of God is done. And we saw it continue to move forward. The medical profession profession will provide all the medical care necessary, but sometimes it's He's going to read this narrative because he was told exactly what to say about that one. Now, he starts getting real nervous right here. I mean, you can hear it in his voice. Um, this was not breaking news. Agitated, maybe. Acting agitated to cover for the nervousness, I'm not sure. 
we need to do so in this fellow. We were aware of the discrepancy of the 28 versus the 24 in the early parts of this investigation. What we weren't aware of is why the date of the 28 was utilized in the early portion of this, as I would provide this information as part of the person registered in the suspect room. Uh, we have come to learn um, the suspect did occupy the room uh, on the 25th, and the situation on how the room was uh, compensated or paid for had changed, and the name was part of the registration had changed on the 28th uh, to include Mary Lee Bandy. Uh, so that was the confusion associated with that, uh, no matter what the perception is, whether we were uh, being non transparent or we were attempting to be subversive, it's false. Um, but there's, but he's still being subversive because that information is nothing. That that's not even new information. That doesn't say who changed it. That that gives us no other insight at, at all. You know, we're not blaming you personally, Sheriff Lombardo. Like there's a lot more that should be said about the whole day thing, but that's just breathed over. Terminology. How do you visually inspect abnormalities whenever your brain matter is allegedly everywhere? Because this is how he shot himself, allegedly. A great deal of his investigator's time. Well, he's got the whole freaking F fucking BI now. This man should have unlimited resources, I would think. Hmm. Take a take a bullet for him. Oh, you're not going to. Okay. Okay, so he just called him Officer Campos. Now, I haven't watched this part. I haven't watched it yet. So I'm just going along and I'm going to be very um, critical of everything. So this is probably going to be a very long, painful video. Sorry. None of which we have access to. Well, apparently. Oh. I still stand by the time of 2159, 959. It's important that you continue to listen to me. 959 is important. It wasn't inaccurate when I provided to you. The circumstances associated with it are doing that way. Okay? I am very well aware of the Indian statement provided yesterday. I agree with this statement, and I accomplished with this statement. 
So well, here's what I will tell you. We were provided the time of 2059 as a human entry into a security law. The investigation we have determined that Mr. Santos had encountered the barricaded door adjacent to the suspect's door at approximately 2159. In his attempt to gain entry to the 32nd. Okay, so I did an earlier video which went over Kimberly's, the girl who was 28 years old who is now dead, Kimberly, who was very specific in the time of 10.07 p.m. when she called her husband. Now, if that, if that Kimberly is not a plant, but actually, you know, true and everything is checks out with that. I believe that that time 10:07. Either way, plants or not plant, that was very specific and very accurate. So I would use that 10:07. And you have to remember, 10:07 was after there were three volleys, she says, of gunfire, and they were running. So this had been tra this had been going on for. Um, Several minutes. Several minutes already. Or he required them to ascend to another level, another level, and eventually make access to the 30 second floor. He went to the doorway that he was just out to originally to address the open doorway. He mitigated that situation and subsequently received fire from the suspect. When you culminate that timeline, Associated from the initial 2059 to the 2205 timeline that we are still standing by as the initial volley of fire. Um, Mr. Tech? No way. No way. There were more than a couple of moments that had passed. I think the scene for the beginning in close proximity to 2205. He attempted to relay that information via. The radio, and it was confirmed that he also relayed that information via his cell phone. So the timeline associated with both of those charges have been verified. So they're saying that he was shot first before Paddock started firing on the crowd, yet Kimberly sent a voicemail. At 10:07, after three volleys of gunfire, she, she sends it to her husband. Obviously, someone's inaccurate. I'm not going to say lying. Obviously, there's huge there's huge inaccuracy there. And that was done by the combination of different uh, sources that I listed earlier. 2217, 12 minutes. That is when our officers first arrived on the 32nd floor. 12 minutes. We are very well aware the suspect fired at approximately 10 minutes. On our arrival on the 32nd floor, the firing had ceased. We did not believe we had continued to have an active shooter. Uh, at that point, we conducted evacuations of the rooms adjacent to the suspect room. And you know the rest. No, we don't know the rest. <laughs> there is no conspiracy between the FBI, between LMPD, and the NGN. Nobody is attempting to hide anything reference this investigation. The dynamics and the size of this investigation requires us to go through I feel bad for him. amounts of information in order to draw an accurate picture. My intent, like I stated earlier, is to give you the information as I know it, unverified, to calm the public. Those are the key words, and that was where I was should have started, was what he just said, with his position was to give information unverified to calm the public. Not 
Not to establish a legal case. I think I saw this clip in another, this section of the clip in another video, like the other day, and that was just what I wanted to reference. Just the terminology. I think it's so important to be aware of the terminology all the time, what they're saying, but even, you know, how they're saying it a lot of the time. Yeah, because he's not taking questions. We established that earlier. Yeah, so what I'm hearing is that he had a very nice conversation with someone from the Fed who assured him that the community would be safe, that he did a great job, and that his job was to make sure the community was safe, and the community is safe, and just let them take over from here. That's what I'm hearing. I mean, that's what I'm hearing. And I think he's in the dark about a lot of things. So say yes. See, leave it to the FBI now. And I'm going to stop there because I don't want to make it any longer. I just wanted to focus really on Lombardo and his presentation and how it um, is pretty much reflective of a significant uh, change in his disposition from the beginning. And I just feel like it comes from a lot of pressure from the feds. And like he, he, he disagrees with that. I'm like, I don't even think, I don't even know if he's aware of it. I don't. But anyway, that was all that I had. I hope the audio turned out okay. Because I've been having so many issues with it. Alright, have a good night. Bye.